Coming up on Look Today, well, we have continuing coverage of the Complete Streets Initiative in Saratoga, this time involving a new bike sharing program. I've got details. And Trans Talk took place last night at the Saratoga Public Library, and we were there. I've got details. And Memorial Day parades will kick off tomorrow. More on that coming up. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Well, in tonight's program, I sit down with June McClellan. Now she's the Executive Director of AIM Services, Inc. And we're joined by Tom Flynn, the President and CEO of Jager and & Flynn. And they're here to talk about upcoming fundraiser, a fundraising golf tournament called Grip It and Rip It. I also sit down with Michael Billock. Now he's the Board President for the Adult and Senior Center of Saratoga and he's here to talk about their upcoming fundraiser. Plus, we've got your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, we have continuing coverage of the Complete Streets Initiative in Saratoga, one component of this initiative just in time for spring and summer. It's a new partnership between CDTA and the City of Saratoga, a bike-sharing program that's going to start this summer. Residents and tourists alike will be able to pick up bikes at designated stations. Now, with the help of electronic applications, people will also be able to pick up bikes at remote locations. Now, this will promote more cycling and more tourism. We spoke to Kate Maynard. She's principal planner for the Complete Streets Initiative. One of the concepts, and this I think is embraced by um, the development, the economic development community, is that sense of being able to either reach Saratoga Springs via train or another mode, carpooling potentially, or driving here and the ability to leave your car and have options. Mm -hmm. So to be able to walk, we have bike share starting this summer in concert with CDTA. So I think that aspect of um, getting around in different means on foot, on a bike, is actually part of the fun of, of visiting a community at this point. Great idea. In other news, well, a trans talk took place last night at the Saratoga Springs Public Library. Hosted by Saratoga Pride, the event opened up the discussion on transgender individuals and what that means. Regarded as a highly sensitive and somewhat controversial topic, the panel discussion invited all transgender individuals to speak and share their experiences. Well, we were at the library and we spoke to Joy Burke. She's chairperson of Saratoga Unites about the discussion. We are an open, welcoming community. We pride ourselves on our diversity and the quality of life in this beautiful town and to make sure that all of our citizens are equally represented here, are equally accepted, uh, that our transgender folks can use this right bathroom, you know. We just want to make life a little bit easier. All right, switching from news to weather. Today saw clearer skies, and there's a possibility of thunderstorms later on tonight. Well, let's see how the rest of the week is shaping up and take a peek at the weekend. For a more detailed look at our weather, let's head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Well, thank you so much, Jesse. As we jump into our first look forecast right now, we're going to notice we're watching a warm front down to our south, some more moisture carrying across portions of the lakes into the northeast as we go through the overnight hours of tonight. But we should see the rain shower activity holding off for now. 54 in Albany, 56 Burlington, Boston with some clearing skies back a little bit cooler to 49. For us, not a bad night. So we expect to see across the area temperatures mostly hanging in those lower to mid 50s in some spots. Fort Edward, 52, Whitehall, 50. And we'll see Glenton's Falls overnight low about 53. So not a cool night, but definitely not too warm either. We're going to see mostly cloudy skies with a little bit of clearing out here and there. The south flow with us as we go through the evening hours. Some light rain showers, a high of 64 tomorrow. Shouldn't see anywhere near the impressive totals. Maybe before it's all said and done, some spots picking up a half inch of rain as we go for the next couple days. But we'll begin to see the damp conditions moving in early. Definitely overcast with a few chances of showers out the door. Temperatures about 55 to 58 
degrees around the 7 to 8 a.m. hour. We'll continue to hang with those showers Friday. A brief break from the wet weather Saturday. We'll see some sunshine as we head into our extended holiday weekend. Right now we could see some showers and thunderstorms joining us for our Monday. About a 50 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms expected at this time. Well, that's it from the Weather Center. Now let's send it back to you, Jesse. Well, thanks, Brand. You know, it's not unusual we get a rainy Memorial Day weekend, and if you notice that uh, weather, the weather patterns are changing. Keep your fingers crossed. All right, back to the news. Well, Memorial Day is coming this Monday, and it's time that we gather together to remember those who died for our country. Now, there will be street parades all weekend long, and most of them will take place either Friday or Saturday. Well, Saratoga Springs will celebrate its Memorial Day parade tomorrow. Now, we're at the City Council meeting where Mayor Joanne Yepsen made the announcement. Memorial Day Parade is coming up, so let's hope we have an evening like we did tonight. Uh, Broadway, Thursday, May 25th. Everybody mark your calendars. 6.30 p.m. we uh, march, so get there early. 6.15 North Broadway. You know, everybody thinks about the holidays as you know, time for family to get together, barbecues and all that stuff. But this one in particular, it's important to remember why we uh, recognize this holiday. Up next, I sit down with June McClellan. She's the executive director of AIM Services, Inc. And we're joined by Tom Flynn. He's president of Jager and Flynn. And they're here to talk about upcoming fundraising golf tournament called Grip It and Rip It. Plus, I also sit down with Michael Billock. He's a board president for the Adult and Senior Center of Saratoga. And he's here to talk about their upcoming fundraiser, a real fun night. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea. How about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Look Today. I've got a couple of lookouts. Uh, just a reminder that the Memorial Day Parade for Saratoga will be in Saratoga tomorrow. Thursday, starting at about 6.30. Also, tomorrow, we will be at the TechSmart campus for the Climate Summit, and we'll report to you on that tomorrow. And Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul, who was going to appear in Glens Falls today, that got moved till tomorrow. So we'll have a full report for you on that tomorrow. And just a reminder, please, go to Facebook and tell us what you think. Ask some questions. We'd be glad to answer them. Tonight on Look TV, it's a Saratoga City Council meeting. And don't forget, tune in tomorrow night for the stories that matter to you. Good night, everyone.